seconds for the first time in their lives. The parents of Stephen Hairston, this is the debut of the Hairstons. He was destined to be a weird child. <laughs> we didn't have sex before we were married and we've only had sex with each other for 36 years. The New York Times recently reported that government scientists believe COVID-19 could last up to 10 more years. Okay, maybe, but I'll have to wait until this is confirmed by MTV News. I know y'all remember MTV News. So I'm coming out with a new restaurant. It's called Texas Roadhead. Guy Fieri is the executive chef and will suck your dick out of my Volvo. I know y'all remember Guy Fieri. I bought my son a Fisher-Price vape pen last night. I know y'all motherfuckers remember vape pen. I don't understand why you can't say the R word anymore. I mean, if you can call a woman a whore at work, you should be able to say retarded. Y'all know women be retarded. Y'all know women be retarded. Just a little fun update on my life. My new drug dealer has Buick tattoos. <laughs> y'all know y'all remember Buick. God, I thought that one was going to go better. Yeah. I thought that last one was going to... I have a lot of riding on this tonight, and that fucking last one just bombed. <laughs> I got high up there and thought I would talk like a fucking black person. I thought that would make it funny. It d <laughs> what a mistake. <gasps> William Montgomery, everybody, with a brand new minute. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, sir. William, welcome to the show. Uh, you, uh, you moved here. You do a new minute every single week. You're recently three months sober. You became addicted to raisin bread. Uh, yes. The world is talking about it. Any updates this week? What's going on in your world? Yeah, it has been a horrible mistake bringing Amy O up here. Uh, I didn't realize she's totally crazy. Her fucking husband is after me now. Oh, no, is that true? I didn't realize she was fucking married. And then she comes on stage last week, and we act like we're married, and her fucking husband, who works in an oil field six hours north of here, knows about it now. Oh, shit. What do you think's going to happen? I don't know. You I'm worried he might shoot me. Uh, have you thought about throwing raisin bread at him as hard as you can? Is that an option? Yeah, I've thought about it. I just know Amy is walking around up here somewhere. If you keep she that... She can't come... I mean, she, no. I mean, she literally... It's been awful. Okay. If a man had a gun to your face, what do you think the last words out of your mouth would be? If you knew it was over. Amy! <laughs> What you want to do? <laughs> I, I say, say I, 
I could stay with you for a while or maybe longer if I do. Amy, what you want to do? Amy. No. Bert and I were singing that song in the podcast today. Said you want to go to Have I said no, no, no. I'm not going to fucking rehab again. What time's it up? It was a nightmare fucking rehab. Daddy thinks I'm No, no, no. I can't go back. The man said, why? You oh, shit. You Joe's got this shit. You. Look out. I said, I got no idea. Together forever. <laughs> Amy and I will stay together. Yeah. I love you so much, Amy. It has been so nice to meet you. I can't believe your husband's fucking coming after me. It's pretty bad, Amy. You know I love you, Amy. Uh, It's been so nice to quit. Yeah, quit fucking playing that, please. (laughs) I think that's like one of the. God damn it! You were at the you were at the big uh, the big build there, and then it sort of trickled away, huh? I think you're depressed. Well, I'm drunk and like to point random things out, like your beard is super red. Is there something in it? I put like glitter a, in it sometimes. Your I put, beard is so red that I think maybe it has to be the lights. Hold on, is that a fucking joke? You asking me that? <laughs> your lights are. Your lights are very beard. I'm pretty fucked up. He's been, he's been ruining words all... Who thinks Bert should never move to Austin? Thank you, Bert. I will not buy you a house. Please Let's go. go. Let's go, bitch. Bert, Bert, what color are your nipples? A nice uh, maroon color. Oh, shit. We're, we're... I have beautiful nipples. Here we are. Mine are pink. I have pink fucking nipples. William Montgomery got them low zinc nipples. (laughs) (laughs) It is. You are are (laughs) nipples like they need more red meat. How do I get more zinc? Amy. All right, all right, all right. right. Yeah, quit fucking playing that. These two guys, as you can tell by their bellies, cannot get an abortion in this state any longer. (laughs) What's up, girl? We can't find you. Seriously, Amy, where'd you go, girl? Amy's a girl that I love, kind of. We met a couple weeks ago, then I married her, then her husband's after me now. Man, he's got a gun for sure. High we five. need a fucking gun now. We gotta find a gun, y'all. We gotta find a gun. needs a gun. I need a fucking gun, this dad. Get him a gun. I got to be the Someone soccer referee on this gun, one. Surely. We, we got to end it at some point, everybody. Did you guys have fun here tonight, huh? Come on, make some noise for William Montgomery, everybody. Best comedians in the fucking city with a brand new minute for you. This is the great William Montgomery, everybody. It's him, the big red machine, the vanilla gorilla. The Knoxville Strangler. This is William Montgomery. I want part of the weight loss challenge. I uh, I got way too high up there earlier, so let's see how this goes. In case anybody was wondering, my grandfather emailed me last night and said they have excellent Wi-Fi in heaven. 
Blaming Facebook for getting Trump elected is like blaming heavy metal for, for school shootings, meaning I agree 100%. <laughs> this is a pretty good one. You know, you know I always thought Barbie was from Arkansas? Why? Because she married Ken. <laughs> like kinfolk. I like that. <laughs> The Austin Police Department will no longer respond to what they consider petty crimes such as vandalism, car wrecks, and burglary. That's good news for David Lucas as he can continue to steal jokes with impunity. <laughs> He's stealing fucking jokes! Yeah. No, I'm kidding. I don't think he is. I was just, I was joking. And David's William. not even fucking here to defend himself. I'm taking a shot at him right now. Well, oh, man. it doesn't and come I out for two weeks, so maybe he won't find out about it until then. How about one more time for the great William Montgomery, everybody? That's a brand new minute. That's a brand new minute for the great William Montgomery. Out here doing the new jokes. Another brand new minute. That Barbie married Ken joke is a reach. And, uh, <laughs> wow. it was. And, and to think that beforehand, you literally go, <laughs> this is a great joke coming up here. Uh, not I was you thinking if I said that, maybe maybe people would laugh. I don't know. Again, I honestly, no, I was that, smoking. That, uh, William, that's literally the opposite of how comedy works. <laughs> uh, you saying this next one's going to be great. It, it raises the bar and expectations. And then you did a joke about Barbie <laughs> marrying Ken. But it's like about Ken folk Ken. In Arkansas. Because she married Ken. Right, she married Ken. And, and Alabama would be even a better reference than Arkansas. Arkansas, uh, you know, that's where Bill Well, Clinton's I made a from. fucking mistake. Okay, that's, I know. I made a mistake tonight. Again, <laughs> I smoked way too much of a joint up there. I'm horribly on fucking edge. I'm not even kidding. I'm badly on edge. That fucking joke didn't work. Now you're critiquing it up here. I feel horrible. I made a fucking mistake. It's okay. William famously got sober a few months ago and is now addicted to raisin bread, everybody. Uh, how much raisin bread did you eat this week? I had three and a half loaves, and I, I've also started making uh, personal pizzas in the oven. Whoa, let's, let's talk more about these personal pizzas. I've been eating the shit out of these personal pizzas. Tell us, where do you, what brand, what, what type? Tell you us. have to buy dough from the store, then you spread it out. Uh, you learned this from TikTok, didn't you? What the fuck does that mean, Red Band? Uh, I don't know. Seriously, what the fuck does that mean? Red Band's TikTok. Why would you say that? Showing him. That's like popular pizzas. in TikTok right now, making your own little pizzas. Uh, I don't think let's, you're right about that. Let's just stick on your. What do you? What? Are, what are you actually eating? Are you? Are you making your own pizza? or Are you buying already made personal? I pan buy pizzas? the sauce. I buy the cheese. I buy the onions. I buy the mushrooms. How, how many onions do you? Put I buy in? the peppers. I buy the I'm, spinach. I'm, okay, William. I William. buy the shrimp. This is I buy the T-bone. Oh, a T-bone on a pizza. I buy the macaroni. Okay. I buy the apples. All right. Told you it was TikTok. Shut the fuck up. Why would you say that? That's so weird. That was starting to be kind of funny, and then you fucking say that. You're out you here. threw me off. You're making supreme pizzas, William. Do you know that? I am. They are super supremes. All right. What else is going on in life? <laughs> oh, man. Just a bunch of uh, ghost shit at my apartment. There are ghosts everywhere. There's shadow people. There's, it's almost Halloween. Now, just to let you guys know, what you're seeing right now, believe it or not, is not a joke. Uh, William is literally afraid of ghosts, and he's convinced that his apartment is... Here in Austin, Texas, is haunted. Tell us more about this. It has this, all please. kinds of shadow people in there. <laughs> I'll be laying on the couch, and I'll see, like, a shadow out of the corner of my eye, and I'm like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> That's a shadow person. <laughs> is that shadow? Just all the fucking time. I see him out of the corner of my eye. Did the shadow people look anything like my friends Jamar and Moses here? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you speak up. Those yeah, goddamn yeah. shadow I people mean, moving yeah. into the neighborhood. <laughs> Believing in ghosts is the most vain and narcissistic shit ever. And I was like, he's making a racial slur. This is a whole joke to make this racial slur. <laughs> shadow people. I'm like, this is a good one, actually. I'm actually yeah. with it. Sounds like we're superheroes. They actually weren't as black as them, but close. 
See, no, I'm kidding. Yeah, I wasn't thinking anything racial about that. How the fuck did y'all get to that? Because you're saying you talk about your black. That was the last say. I was talking about fucking shadow people. Do you ever see anything <laughs> other than shadows? Is there anything wacky yeah. that happens? You once told me something about a shower curtain. Is that correct? Yeah, I see shadow people on the other side of the fucking shower curtains. Why do you keep looking at me when you say that? <laughs> I'm not David Lucas. I write my job. I can't fucking believe you started accusing that of ra- as a racist thing. That's fucked up. I'm talking about shadow people. I'm not talking about black people. I wasn't even thinking that. Do you have schizophrenia in your family? What the fuck does that mean? Dr. Redman doing a little research on here. <laughs> William. Uh, uh, Jamar Neighbors. Yeah, uh, hi. Uh, how, how old are you? I'm 34. Oh, all right. How come? Why do you ask? Uh, w- William's a special tree. He's a 34-year-old that looks like he could be his own grandfather. It's very... Yeah. I was going to say, he looked like one of the four founding fathers of an Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> Is all of this because of the shadow people thing? I thought we were really talking about shadow people. Now I'm getting fucking roasted up here. I'm high as shit. William, I... W- I already haven't felt good about it, and then this all starts fucking happening. Would William, like- I want to know more about these ghosts. In real life, can you give us an example of, like, other than just seeing shadows out of the corners of your eyes, was there a specific time that led you to believe? Because this is something he brings up, right? We'll be, like, in the green room, and, like, you'll be all in the phone, like, yeah, I saw more shadow people, and then I'll, like, be it. Tell us more about this. These people deserve to know. You're the one that let the cat out of the bag. Anytime anybody brings up something that I leave off the show, like you being afraid of ghosts... Uh, I get excited, and you brought it up, so uh, now I want the people to find out. Just an example of something like a shadow person. I was in the fucking mall the other day in a Foot Locker, and Wait somebody a took a pair of shoes. And... Wait, what? <laughs> I, th- I thought this... then I was going to talk about a shadow person inferring that it was a black person. I thought that's where that was going. Stop looking at me when you say that. I thought that's what was going on. William, I want to know more about ghosts. Like, you said something once happened in the shower. Was that right? Yeah, I was in the shower, and I saw a, literally a shadow out of the corner of my eye. And, I and then was, what do you do in that situation? Do you get out of the shower? Do you just keep staring at the empty doorway? Like, what goes on? No, I mean, I'll shut my eyes. I will shut my eyes. So then that's black. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean that's black? I mean, that's... Uh, the same color as a shadow. Aren't ghosts like white? Well, <laughs> all I see is shadow people. I don't know what. Oh you, all... oh, you don't see color when it comes to ghosts. <laughs> How defined? That's not what I said. How okay. defined are these shadows? Like, are, is it, it is like the shape of a human, or is it just like, is it, does it look like an upside down trash bag? Does like, it look like the shadow of your girlfriend walking by? What the fuck does that mean? Yeah. Uh, the fuck does that mean? Let's let's go back to the question that I asked you right before Red Band <laughs> chimed in. Uh, I mean, I will be just laying on the couch and I will see a shadow out of the corner of my eye. You're not really saying anything other than a shadow out of the corner of your eye. I asked you, like, is it defined? I don't see like a person. Right. I don't see like a person. It's literally like a. Sounds racist. <laughs> what did you say? Uh, yeah, to find these shadow people, he's like six one. He's got a hat with like a uh, uh, sunshine on it, you know. Sunshine. <laughs> oh, no. William, a week at the corner of my eye, you're looking like this side eye man shit. <laughs> <laughs> the Civil War reenactment thing. Why like didn't we even start talking about shadow people? I admit nothing by it. Oh no. Yeah, this could be big trouble if you ever get cast on SNL or something one day. Uh, they're going to look back at this and be like, what is that he's doing? Someone's going to be like, it's comedy. You know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, William, really fun. I, you know what? When you Earlier when you're like, I think I got too high upstairs, I was like, oh, that's funny. He's like uh, being silly. I literally got way too fucking high up yeah, there. Yeah, I think maybe, I think maybe you kind of maybe sort of did tonight. <laughs> I agree with you. Yeah, it turns you into a rapist. I mean, racist. Racist. <laughs> I'm the rapist. I mean, we, we've established that already. Sing, uh, 
William, what do you think you look more like, a rapist or a racist? Because you do. You, you look like both. Um, again, it's another... It's very interesting. I don't the know. The difference man. between a C and a P. We're so close. Uh, he's a, rape, a racist rapist? Yeah. He's like, I only rape Probably Asians. a racist, I would guess. What? Pro- probably a racist. All right. I wonder what the I don't ladies, know. What would you say? I wonder what the ladies think. How about you? You think he looks more like a racist or a rapist? Okay, this lady says rapist. Cool. How about I'll the... take that. <laughs> which which type of person would you let fuck? The rapist in him or the racist in him? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> uh, Jamar, that's a really uh, yeah, that's really a, uh... <laughs> that's really just for your entertainment. Yeah, yeah. You, right hey, wait, hey, hey. I'm trying to get canceled, nigga. What the fuck? Sorry. <laughs> All right, well, William. Anything, come? anything else that uh, we should know about? Anything else crazy going on in the world? Uh, I want to let everyone know Amy O actually died this oh. past week. Oh she wow! She is no longer with us. She was a wonderful woman. It, I'm so glad our paths crossed. Wow, she's right over there. Actually, she's sitting right there. Oh, what? Funny you should mention it's that. A ghost. For those, of you that don't, for those of you that don't know, Miss Amy O was pulled out of the bucket a few weeks ago and until tonight was considered the craziest woman in the history of the show. It is, for you know, this is such a fucking mentally unstable episode of Kill Tony. I'm almost really tempted is. to bring Miss Amy O up here to do a minute of crazy to end it. <laughs> Should we do it? All right. You stay on stage up here, William. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a new minute. From Miss Amy O, everybody, and then we're done. Oh, fuck yeah. The clock has started, Miss Amy O. Y'all needed to learn something again, didn't y'all? I want me up here to teach you. Well, I'm going to teach you something here. I'm going to teach you something. I, when I was in prison, one day they called me up front to the picket and they said, hey, get on that bus because we found out you're going to be a good teacher because you got hemorrhoids. You got hemorrhoids and John Seeley Hospital, they have a class, they need to learn how to remove hemorrhoids. So I got on the bus. I got on the bus, I brought my hemorrhoids with me. I got down there. You know where hemorrhoids are, don't you? You know? Well, they got me up in them stirrup, you know, and that whole class was back there studying, studying and they learned how to take out my hemorrhoids. And you know what I found out? I found out it's possible that Norm MacDonald had the, <laughs> had the same doctor that was learning how to take out hemorrhoids because I just heard on, the, on an old letterman that was running since he died because the same age as me. Jesus. He had hemorrhoids <laughs> taken out. And I think I trained that doctor with my own hemorrhoids. What y'all all think? Right, what y'all all right, all right, all right, all right. Miss Amy O, I don't know what the fuck. I picked, I picked the wrong day to stop drinking, man. Yeah, like, I, yeah it's I quit wild. drinking last week. Miss Amy O, up here. Ugh, uh, you are Amy. I loved it. Oh, you two are still extra close here. I thought that was great. The big red machine and the medium magenta queen. I, I, I just wrote that the other day, by the way. Uh, yeah, we know Miss Amy O. It sucked. Uh, ah! It did not. They laughed. Not really, but uh, Miss Amy. Well, if they laughed at me, they still laughed. Miss Amy, oh, this has been such a crazy episode of Kill Tony. Did you see that lady earlier that was up here with the pigtails and the cow? Actually, I saw her across the street, and I knew the way she was dressed that she was heading this way. I did. I was not surprised. What do you think people think when they see you crossing the street to uh, come here? When I'm with William, they don't mind at all. Well, I just want to let everybody know I thought that was great. Yeah. I thought it was a wonderful minute. You two look look like you're going to shoot a porno called Breaking Bed. <laughs> <laughs> because you're fat and she looks methed up. Uh, that's why that one works for so, me. So you got hemorrhoids? I, they never came back and I never went back to prison either. <laughs> Uh-oh. What? That's me right. too, me too. crack again, so hey, three in order. W- wait, did you just say you smoked crack again? No, not since prison, no. Nope. Okay. Oh, all right. But you do other drugs, am I correct? <laughs> well, I quit drinking after episode uh, 524 when I fucked up my jokes all over the floor. <laughs> wait, you sobered up because of something that happened on Kill Tony? Yes. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. 
Changing people's lives. My husband did not know I had been drinking. He just... Wait, yeah. wait, wait. Your husband did not know what? Uh -oh. That I had been drinking because I kind of picked it up with comedy again. Oh, uh, shit. I was sober for uh, over 17 years. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. So Kill Tony also made you break no, 17 no, 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 years no, no, of sobriety. No, 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 no. Not before, this is what's before. wild. We can help you. We can hurt you. We can push you and pull you back in again. That's, well, you can, you can take that. Amy fucking doesn't need any help. We are doing good. <laughs> she doesn't need any help. What do you guys do? You guys sleep together? We've been going to the zoo a bunch. <laughs> oh, wow. He really is in love with my puppet, if you want to know the truth. Is, did you bring your puppet with you? One, one of the worst puppeteers of all time, everybody. The only puppeteer I've ever seen whose lips move more when the puppet talks. Uh, really, I mean, it's just unbelievably terrible. Oh, my God, there's a gun in there. <laughs> William. <laughs> William, share the microphone with her for a second here. Wait till you guys see how stupid this is. Oh, uh, what in the white face? All right, do your puppet. I'm offended. Oh, Worst no. puppeteer of all time, everyone. Go ahead. Let's see some bad puppetry. Hello, my name is Hope, and I don't do dope. <laughs> we don't understand anything you're saying. I know, I because know. Because <laughs> you're not it's good a at it. Problem. You're Damn literally it. the worst, Amyo. Yeah, I know it's I you. I have a whole bag of them out in my car that I made. You have a <laughs> bag of puppets? Yeah. You make those? I used to make them in prison, I told you. I <laughs> <laughs> I did, I did. I, I would send them home to my children and... And, and, uh, and, <laughs> and remind everybody... And what I'd you, write what, stories. Miss Simeo, up here. Remind everybody what you went to prison for. $20 worth of crack cocaine the government sold me. Yep. The can, government. I, can I... Can I call I my mom... I years, yep. <laughs> That's Texas. <laughs> can I call my mom and you tell her, 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 tell her your story? <laughs> Please, I would love to talk to your mother. Nah, nah, she, she gonna get mad. She gonna get mad. She gonna get mad. Ah, uh, never mind, never mind. Never. If if the puppet talked to Jamar's mom, what would it say? <laughs> I'm not a real puppet. That's me, everybody. I, I don't me. know, but I, I mean, my son, my son told me not to bring this up here. But William, do you want to try? Hey, would William, you, will you kiss you that you puppet? Can do it? You can see you can do it. How many of you think William should kiss the puppet to end tonight's episode? Wow, this is the first time a puppet's ever been kissed. God, and why did I get so high before this, and now I'm standing up here next to Amy with this fucking thing on my Turn hand? Turn the puppet to the crowd, William. <laughs> Let's see some puppetry. I mean, I got way too fucking high earlier. I'm not kidding. I love Amy. I'm so happy she's with me again. I thought she had died. <laughs> That's what she told me. She was about to die. All I mean, right. You're worse than her. I, I mean, maybe it's his mustache. I didn't see his mouth move at all. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think it was moving. That's wild. Absolutely <laughs> wild. How about a hand for William <laughs> Montgomery? Wow, a standing ovation upon arrival. This crowd is hot. Standing ovation. I don't know who's running this fucking place, but I was just trapped in the goddamn walk-in freezer for 20 minutes. I'm freezing cold. Uh, sorry, I'm back on my bullshit. I had seven kombuchas earlier. I just crop dusted the stage, so the good news is that by the time it reaches you, I'll be off stage. They say Jesus Christ was a liberal, and look at where it got him. Let's give it up for Jesus Christ! Let's give it up for Yahweh! Give it up for the Son of Man! Do you know who I really feel sorry for? The Butthole Surfer's parents. 
California just passed a new law requiring gender-neutral toys. I'm just trying to figure out where the fuck I'm supposed to buy balls now. <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner's garage sale? I should have ended it after the... I shouldn't have added Caitlyn Jenner's... Okay, that's it. Thank you. William Montgomery with a powerful new minute of stand-up comedy. Unbelievable. William coming off of a week, an entire week of opening for uh, myself and Joe Rogan here at Vulcan Gas Company. Hans Kim was also on those shows. Uh, very, very, very exciting stuff. This guy on the top of his game. You're watching a man in his prime right now. And I'm not kidding. I'm also freezing fucking cold. I'm not fucking around. I was in that goddamn place for 20 minutes. What happened? I went in there to smoke a joint and the fucking door shut and I was trapped in the dark. It was freezing fucking cold. I'm wearing this goddamn t-shirt. Did it's you, probably 30 degrees in there. Did you, did you get to smoke the joint? Yeah, I did. I got way too fucking high in there, and then I got fucking paranoid that I'm never going to get out. And I knew I was going to have to fucking come on this stage very soon. It was horrible. Was there anything, was there anything in the cooler that you liked? Was there any drinks or food? Some or igloo coolers. Well, they had coolers inside of the cooler? They did some igloo brand coolers. That's I best. bring that up. That's a new sponsor of mine. Oh, really? They reached out to me, yeah. Okay. Now, you're very famously, as the crowd is aggressively yelling, we have... Yeah, I don't know out. who the fuck just said raisin bread. Shut your fucking mouth. Don't fucking throw me off. I'm literally freezing cold. How much raisin bread have you had this week? We found out you're newly addicted to raisin bread after gaining sobriety a few months ago. How much raisin bread did we get through this week? It's like week? three and a half loaves. <laughs> Since Thursday. Since Thursday. Oh, my goodness. That is a loaf a day, basically. Pretty much. Wow. <laughs> that math works. Yeah, it's about a loaf a day. I can't quit fucking eating it. So, like, do you toast it? Do you put butter on it? Do you make sandwiches? Or do you just go one slice at a time, raw dog? Sometimes, if I'm feeling pretty down, I will just eat it a slice at a time. Wow. Grilled I cheese. start sitting in my fucking apartment. I'm feeling real down. I'm watching a bunch of Wife Swap, and I will fucking... I'll polish off a loaf or two. I don't know if y'all have seen Wife Swap recently. What a hell of a show. <laughs> That's a great show. Can you give us some examples of what you love about Wife Swap? Like, is there something particular that's happened on the show that you find extremely entertaining? I think the world wants to know. Uh, oh, man. You caught me. I haven't been watching Wife Swap. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that. No. The rare, you busted me. The rare lie from William Montgomery. <laughs> oh, no. Everything else he said tonight was completely honest. Everything else is true. No, I ha yeah, I haven't been watching that. Oh, my goodness. Wow. You, you spent the whole weekend uh, at a comedy festival yeah. in uh, what? Eureka, California. In Eureka, California. Two years in a row, you going out and headlining Eureka. How was that? It was fun. Okay. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> Anything, anything interesting happen out there? I was able to smuggle like probably a, uh, like an ounce of weed back in my baggage. I felt cool doing that. Wow. You did? I did, yeah. I have it in my back of my apartment. Did, where'd you put it in your bag? Did you put it like in a sock or something special? Did you try it all to hide it? or like? Uh, I didn't at all. I just put the bag in there. I was feeling pretty down. I had been eating a bunch of fucking raisin bread. My sets were honestly a fucking disaster up there. You it didn't turned like into a nightmare. It turned into a what am I fucking doing with my life? This has turned into a giant fucking mistake. I was up there trying to make people fucking laugh. I wasn't able to do it. It literally, it was sort of a, a time of soul searching for me. I think I've made a horrible mistake. And then I get fucking trapped in the goddamn freezer. I start freezing. I'm high as shit in there. Wait, that happened in California as well? Yeah, I got trapped in a fucking freezer up there as well. Oh, wow. my God. 
You should really stop going inside a freezer. I don't think I'm going to fucking stop. I love it in there. <laughs> a nice fucking black freezer! It's freezing cold! I love how that feels! I love being cold! I love being cold! Nobody's going to stop me in there! Ain't nobody stopping me in the freezer! I promise you all that! I stayed in the breezer. Yeah. Let's give it up for Igloo. Yeah. Wow. Nobody does it like this guy. This is, without a doubt, peak performance. I mean, the, the crowd. I try to get money from Igloo. I need that Igloo money. I'm really close to living on the street. I'm about to be homeless! Sometimes you were supposed to cheer at that part. God! Sometimes I wonder what it's like if like if somebody like if somebody brought like their girlfriend to this show for the first time or something. You did? You brought her? This is your first time seeing the show? What do you think about this moment right now, lady? God just get out of here! <laughs> I'm kidding. No. <laughs> William, you're an absolute fucking saint. You're on top of the world. You're out. You're headlining. You're selling out shows. You're opening for Joe Rogan. You're on the best shows in the city. And he's a Thank product you. of here, Austin, Texas, everybody. Come on, make some noise for William, everyone. So exciting. Uh, every single week, I have one of the funniest comedians in the world on this show. This week, no different. Uh, you're going to remember that you were here when this man was a guest on this show here tonight. It's Kill Tony's Own, the longest standing regular in the history of the show, the Big Red Machine, William Montgomery, everybody. Oh, shit. Wow. It's the real William Montgomery. Looks a lot like Quentin Tarantino when we had him on a couple months ago, but it is William Lights Out, the Vanilla Gorilla, the Big Red Machine, the Slumdog Billionaire. So nice to be here. As you all heard, I am one of the top comedians in the world, so I was able to get it right in my schedule to be here tonight. Very excited to be here tonight. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, born and bred here on Kill Tony, this is the Big Red Machine, William Montgomery, everybody. <laughs> Boom. The Vanilla Gorilla, the Big Red Machine, the widespread panic. This is William Montgomery. It kind of threw me off when uh, Michael's Alec Baldwin jokes are way better than mine, and he just <laughs> improvised it. So let's try this out. Uh, I can't believe what happened with Alec Baldwin killing someone, so I went back to look at what he's been in, and I think we should have seen it coming. I mean, you have Dr. Death, Glenn Gary, Glenn Bang, and who can forget 30 Glock. <laughs> Y'all know I love Alec Baldwin! I bet after Fight Club came out, the Pixies were like, uh, just what we needed, more downloads. <laughs> Y'all know I love the Pixies! <laughs> Very unhappy to announce, I ran over a guy earlier today. I was looking up at a billboard trying to figure out what it said, and the dumbass walked right in front of my car. It turns out the billboard said, please be careful, pedestrian deaths are on the rise. <laughs> Y'all know I love running over all those people. Y'all can make all the Alec Baldwin jokes you want, but if he were to do stand-up, he would kill. <laughs> Y'all know I've killed all those people before. Just ding the fucking thing, Red Man. What are you doing? You can just say that you're done. Thank I'm you. done. Thank you. That's my time. Thank you. That's my time. Yeah. William Montgomery. My name is William Montgomery. Thank you so much. That's been my time. As good as he is, the high, he's at the peak of his career, and somehow he, he, he doesn't really end his sets. 
That was my time. Thank you all so much. My name is William Montgomery. <laughs> That was my time. Thank you all so much. It was a real pleasure. That was my time. My name is William Montgomery. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for driving so far. That was actually my time. Um, y'all are so sweet. Y'all came from such far distances. Uh, my name is William Montgomery. That was my time. You're getting good at it. This is good practice for you. That was my time. Uh, Wh William, how how's it going? You just got back from Los Angeles, California. I did. It was honestly a fucking nightmare. I go to Six Flags. The second day I'm there, my phone gets sucked out of my pocket on the X2 roller coaster. Oh, shit. All my fucking Chick-fil-A points were connected to that phone on that app. I had like 5,000 fucking Chick-fil-A points. I've spent probably $500 this year there. Now it's all fucking gone. So my week was honestly awful. Wow. You lost your Chick-fil-A points. Have you gotten a new phone since then? I did. Have you re-downloaded your Chick-fil-A app? Yeah, but it was on like another email that I can't remember the password to, so I was unable to access the Chick-fil-A app. Did you go to Forgot Password? I did. I honestly did not click on that'll that. That'll send an email to your... Uh, that'll send a link to your email. Yeah, but I'm not logged in that email, and it's a whole fucking mess. Who just fucking said that? I have a fucking gun in my car. No, I'm not fucking around. I have a gun in my car. I will bring it back in here. I don't think this is the week to talk about. Uh, we have a prop gun here on uh, Kill Tony, oh. actually, but. Uh... <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> ours, ours, we keep a flag jammed into it so that nobody can possibly do anything stupid. You shoot up the fucking dart at the end. Of <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. So did Alec Baldwin. Welcome to Cartoon <laughs> Kill Tony, where the dart flies out. William, I love this uh, style. You've been dressing up a lot lately, and then tonight you did this. Uh, you did yeah. abusive grandfather or yeah. something like that. Yeah. I'm not kidding when I say when I lost those fucking points, my week literally was a disaster. I started drinking again. No. No, I'm you didn't. fucking drunk as fuck right now. No, you didn't. Is Shut the true? fuck up, you Whoa. pussies. I'm drinking again. William, someone. W William, someone. I'm doing blow tonight. <laughs> William, someone just threw raisin bread on this stage at you. They're trying to get you back on the... Uh, I'm not eating this shit anymore! <laughs> Get that out of my face! <laughs> the raisin bread just hit an old Vietnam veteran on the lap. Over. Right on his dick! <laughs> oh, shit. They're throwing it back on the stage again. This is like when, uh, when a Yankee... Who fucking brought that?! <laughs> <laughs> you have a really weak arm, it's, William. It's something else. <laughs> Your raisin it's, bread just hit the purple-haired lady yeah. in the head. Yeah. Who fucking brought that? <laughs> Whoa, he got it. Oh. Look at that. Oh, Absolutely shit. incredible, sir. You can get that autographed after the show, the official <laughs> Kill Tony after party where the great band Nether Hour will be playing. We have... <laughs> We have fun here. We hang out after the show. You can unlock your phones and hang out if you want. I um, also did a, a set at the comedy store on Saturday night, and some lady probably five minutes into it said, you're not funny. And I called her a bitch, and then she got up, and she's like, what, did you just call me a bitch? And I was like, yeah, you bitch. <laughs> and then they had to escort her out. Really? Wow. She was best. Wow. Different I wasn't atmosphere. fucking playing that night. Wow. And so, uh, so then what happened? Did you hang out at the comedy store till late? What, what's the comedy no, store not like really. right now? Give us a report. It was fun. A lot of people were wearing orange for some reason. Uh -huh. It's fall. It's fall. Yeah, it's because they want, want to make sure Alec Baldwin sees yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> that too. Why did I say a bunch of people were wearing orange? What the fuck was I thinking that was going to accomplish? Why did I say that? You set me up for a joke. <laughs> William, do you ever do you ever go hunting or anything like that? Do you ever do any outdoorsy things? Because you look like a lumberjack. You, yeah, you look like the guy that like comes out of a cuckoo clock or something like that. Uh, I I went hunting one time with my uncle Lance down in Mississippi, um, and we shot someone. Oh, 
Uh, we were hunting people at a convenience store. Oh. All right. Somebody owed my uncle a bunch of money. I was only six years old. Uh, uncle Lance fucking shot him through the chest. It was horribly gory. Um, but yeah, that was the one time I went hunting. Did you try to save the person at all when they, when they had an open wound in their chest? Did you go over and like try to plug it or something well, like that? Well, I was driving the car and I immediately hit the person as they were falling down. Okay. God, what a weird story. Why did I even say that? It was yeah. totally made up. <laughs> Will totally you, made. Are you kidding about starting drinking again, or is this true? No, I'm kidding. I, right. I have a Okay, well, then in that case, I'll ask you. Uh, a lot of you might not know, William, famously a heavy drinker, quit drinking, got addicted to raisin bread. How much raisin bread have you eaten since the last episode a week ago? Well, since last Thursday, I've had four loaves. Four wow. loaves since last Thursday. Since this past fucking Thursday, that I love that loaf shit. A day. Did you eat a loaf today? Yeah. All right. Earlier today. That's why I didn't want to fucking see that because I don't want to be tested. That's right. You're already at your limit for raisin bread. What's your favorite kind of raisin bread, William? Who fucking said blueberry? Yeah. I mean, some. I have a fucking gun in my trunk. <laughs> yeah. I swear to God, I'll bring it back in here. I swear to God. Some lady that does not know how raisin bread works. <laughs> Those are the words Blueberry. of a lady that has only looked at raisin bread and not eaten it or read the bag. <laughs> oh, look at that blueberry bread. <laughs> what a monster. I can't believe I don't know how to read. <laughs> or eat bread. <laughs> Blueberry raisin bread. What a, that's why there'll never be a female president right there because of people <laughs> like that yelling out. There will never be a female president! Look at the table with the purple-haired lady as the only ladies giving me the finger right now. What are the odds of that, huh? <laughs> yeah, why don't, you guys go t- go, why don't you guys go pick it or something, huh? Go make some signs and be all loud about it. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, what the fuck are y'all even doing? <laughs> yeah, thank you, The William. fuck are y'all trying to prove? Seriously, what the fuck are you trying to prove? Thank you, William. Get out of here. <laughs> no, <laughs> you don't have to leave. You don't have to leave. <laughs> William, you look so serious. Yeah, I'm pissed right now. My fucking phone came out on the X2. Did you ask the people at the uh Yeah, they collect part? the phones every night. You can get them like the next well, morning. Well, I talked to the people, uh, but no, I got an email the other day and they don't have it. So it's gone. Wow. My goodness. To think there's it's someone gone. Out, to think that there's someone out there eating all that Chick-fil-A right now. <laughs> Shit. I haven't even thought about that. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, my God. I wonder what piece of shit is eating all my fucking... I didn't even think about that one, Tony. Yeah, I know. Oh, my it's God. It's a crazy time. A lot of people right now investing in Tesla and Apple, and you saved up all those Chick-fil-A points. And uh... <laughs> I always thought if I ever went homeless or something like that, I would at least be able to eat Chick-fil-A for like a month while I got my uh, legs back under me, so... That's, what I w- that's why I was collecting the points, in case you were curious. If people were uh, to send you Chick-fil-A gift cards, where would they send those to? Maybe here? Vulcan Gas Yeah, Company? here works for sure. Yeah, okay. I think I need some. <laughs> look, look up the address to Vulcan Gas Company on yeah, the internet. Yeah, attention William the, Montgomery. Yeah, attention William Montgomery at Vulcan Gas Company. And uh, we'll see if we can get you some Chick-fil-A Please points. Please do. That'd be great. Does that sound good? That sounds really good. You love Chick-fil-A, don't you? I love it. How much do you love Chick-fil-A? I fucking love Chick-fil-A. I swear William, to God. Tell these people how much you love. What do you it's love? It's my it? favorite fucking place. What do you like to get there? What do you like to get there, William? A couple Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches. Hold the pickles. Wow. Whoa. Why are y'all crowd. doing it that shit? The crowd. Oh, hold on a second. Whoa, the hold crowd. the pickles! <laughs> Texas does not fuck around. They are booing with Hey, fucking country. pickles! Uh, shut the fuck up! Wow. There's no way! This is what I we hate call... fucking pickles! <laughs> There's no way all of y'all like pickles. There's this no like way. This when Hulk Hogan joined There's the There's no NBA way! Uh, There's is... no way! I feel like I'm in a nightmare right now. This is a yeah. <laughs> I cannot believe it. The crowd has turned on William Montgomery. About yeah, pickles. what the fuck happened? This is a pro pickle audience. Yeah, that's bullshit. The lady, I the lady with purple hair just pulled one out of her vagina. 
Yeah. I refuse to fucking believe that. That that many people like fucking pickles. That's unbelievable. How many of you love pickles out there? Yeah! Oh my god. Grillos. Wow. That's fucking bullshit. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> How many of you love dill pickles? That's the worst guy. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. I refuse to believe what's going on. What the fuck are you doing with your hands? I'm gonna get my gun! <laughs> oh shit. I think that's tonight's episode of Kill Tony. How about another hand for William Montgomery, everybody? We did it again. Good stuff, William.